Hey guys, welcome back. I'm That Spider Lady, and today we are going to be checking on my slings, doing some maintenance, maybe feeding a little, and just, you know, looking at our beautiful little babies. So our first one we've got right here is the Cochiana Brunipes, which is the dwarf pink lake tarantula. Um, for this one, I've already removed the water dish, and I'm going to wash it off because it's a little bit dirty. The spraying here is just uh, me using my little pressure sprayer to uh, clean it off. And it's just a little ink pot for like tattooing that I use since it's a dwarf species. Um, don't need anything super crazy big. Um, let me see if I can show you guys though. The little baby is right there. I don't know if you can see that. Right. Here. Okay, he cooks it out. <laughs> Hi, little cutie. Are you hungry? This is Kip. My little dwarf pink leg. Alright, so I'm going to put this back in here. Hopefully I can get it in. I don't know if I... Hmm. There we go. And I'm just going to fill it up with some fresh water really quick. And uh, Kip seems to be a little bit hungry, so I'm thinking I'm going to put maybe a cricket leg in there. Um, so that he or she can eat some foods. That is not what I intended to do. I was just trying to pull off a little leg, but I just uh, pulled the cricket in half by accident. Oh my god, it's still alive. Oh my god, it's still alive. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, that makes me feel weird. Oh my goodness. Come here, you little... Okay, well, this is like bigger than it is, so... Jeez. Oh, Let me see. I think I'm going to just pull it the rest of the way apart. Oh, that feels gross to me, but you know, life, I guess. Ugh. There's one leg. I'm just gonna. Ugh. Hmm. Smashed its head, so. Oh, gross. I accidentally dropped on the ground. Well, this was a first for me. Um, since crickets will cannibalize, I'll just throw the head back in there. Again. Oh, yuck. And I'm just gonna give it the back half. This part. With, uh, two drumsticks and, uh, <laughs> A bum, so cool. Here we go.
don't think don't think he's gonna come out so I'm just gonna leave it like right there Ooh. just leave it right on the web right there and that uh, hopefully Kip will come out and like eat it later And uh, if he doesn't end up eating it, then I'll remove it because you don't want to let things like mold or anything. So uh, after 24 hours, I will uh, remove it. So, right. So here we go. We got that half a cricket right there. Um, I don't enjoy pulling crickets apart, just in case you didn't notice that. So. <laughs> That was not, that was a first for me, and uh, I don't, I don't particularly feel good about that. <laughs> I don't like harming creatures um, if I don't have to, so um, normally their legs just pop right off, which is what I was expecting for it to do, but yeah, that was a little disturbing for me. <sighs> Hopefully I'm not the only one who finds it disturbing. The cool thing about this little guy, which is the Toledo Caudal Schroeder Eye, the Mexican Black Velvet Tarantula, is not only does he have, or she, have this burrow right here, which goes like this and onto the back, it looks like right under this cute little flower, it started a new burrow in there, and I think it probably attaches to this one. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, hey little guy, look at you, you have excavated so much, so happy. Okay, so for this little dude, we're just going to get some fresh water, since he excavates a lot, there's obviously going to be a lot of dirt in his water, <laughs> uh, which is hilarious to me. He's always, <laughs> you could probably see, but like, this was all like level, very flat, and now it's like all built up on the sides, because <laughs> of all the excavating he has done, or she has done, don't know, could be female, could be a male, too young to sex. So I'm going to actually remove this water dish really quick. And just take a look, see how hydrated or dehydrated the substrate is all together. So it looks like we've got some good hydration right here. This is more or more dry over here. That's kind of damp. And over here looks very damp, which I think is where the water dish has been. No, that's not where the water dish has been sitting. This is where it's been sitting, so... Okay, um, we can definitely give it a little bit of moisture, but not too much. Um, you never want to squirt water directly into the burrow. Um, you don't want to flood your slings out or tarantulas in general. It's just, it's not healthy. It'll cause undue stress and it's just not good. So um, try and do like the opposite corner or like not right where they're little burrows are so in this case I shouldn't be doing one here or right here under the flowers because those are the two holes that it's created itself um, I can do a little bit like up on the ledge and that'll be fine and then like mostly down in here and on this side so um, you can see what I'm saying so like mostly on this side, not near any of the burrow holes. And like that'll keep the moisture up and that's really good for your slings because you really, really want them to, you know, thrive by um, molting properly. So uh, give me just a second. I'm going to rinse this little cup off as well. Um, I don't think I said this already, but... This one's name is Clove, um, my favorite character from the Hunger Games, 
I know she was, like, supposed to be, like, a bad character, but I don't know. She was my favorite. She was, like, really dope. Also, she played, um, or the orphan, like, in the movie Orphan. <laughs> and I'm a sucker for horror movies, so that was another just, like, hell yeah. I like, I like horror movies. You're in the Hunger Games. Oh! Ah, okay. Well, that was an accident. And my sling's probably like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, yeah. What the fuck are you doing, yo? <laughs> Just, you know, making a mess. <laughs> it's fine. Yikes. Well, you know what? I guess I could do this since I just fucked it up already anyways. I'm just going to take my brush and go like this. Level it out a little. and just drop it right in there. I don't really want it to be near either of the entrances of the burrow either because um it'll like I've noticed that they really if it's too close to their burrow they'll throw substrate in their water dishes and I'm just not about that so anyways we'll do this nice full do a little more water there we go now this one is big enough that I can give it a full pinhead cricket, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and it is a really good eater, so. Oh, jeez. I don't know if you guys have ever had, like, crickets, but they stink. They smell so gross. Ugh. That one's like just popped right on off. Right, we're gonna drop it right down that little hole. And oh, did you see that? It took it. That's little baby right there. I don't want to spill the water, but it's spilling anyways. See? Right here. Hi, Clove. Did you take that little cricket right away? Oh, you did, didn't you? You little cutie pie. My beautiful little baby. Okay, so Clove was hungry. Good to know. Doesn't look like they're in pre mold so... That's a And again, that was the Toledo Cottle Short Rye, Mexican Black Velvet Tarantula. Let me just, uh, do this really quick. I'm spraying the water into my tiny little trash can so that I don't make a huge mess. So, don't mind me, just being silly. Next, we have the Lassiodora Parahibana, um, also known as the Salmon Pink Bird Eater Tarantula. This one's name is Juno, and this one does not like to be on camera, um, not at all, so I doubt we'll get a clip of this one, like, eating or anything. What we can do, though, is, um, take out this water dish, dump it on out, clean her off. And let's see, check the moisture levels because um, I actually keep my slings pretty warm compared to most other people, I would think. Um, I keep them anywhere between 78 to like 82 degrees um, and I've noticed that they really enjoy more of like a warmer temperature um, and they've been growing really well. So um, since I keep them in such a warm room that's not like super humid, it's like, you know, decently humid in here. Um, I like to just spray down the substrate um, because it dries out pretty fast. 
So, let's see. No, we cannot. We cannot see our little sling. And it looks like... I'm not confident. Oh! Oh my! Okay. Well, oh. that's part of its burrow. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Maybe I can, like... See that little corner that's all, like, taken out? Yeah, that's its burrow. That is dope! Good job, little dude. Wow, I'm super impressed by that. I was always wondering where you were going when you were going under that cork. <laughs> oh, you silly goose. Oh, look at all the little poops down there. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Okay, well, actually, that's good. Now that I know that its burrow is, like, from here to this corner, I'm no longer going to drop water down in this back corner, um, which means... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that moss there. Normally I'd wet that moss down, but I'm not gonna do that anymore now that I know that its burrow ends over there. So what I'm gonna do is make sure to keep it more moist over in this corner, a little bit here. And like I said, you don't wanna get any like inside the burrow. Put the little water dish back. Let's do this. This one also, you can probably see, has excavated a significant amount, um, which is really cool. So like right here at the beginning of the burrow, all that was like way down in there. And I was like super impressed with how this one, like, this one actually excavated almost immediately. And it was really, really super cool, so. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to feed this one a little cricket as well. We'll see if we can get it to, uh, come on out here. Oh, okay. Well, maybe a cricket. went like way down in there so well, you can see probably not let me take my other delight and just look really quick oh yeah yep they got it cool that's so awesome knowing that I can see like in the burrow now. That's prime. Love that. All right. Well, that was all of our slings. So we've got the bird eater, Mexican black velvet, and dwarf pink leg. I'm not going to show you my green bottle blue right now because I believe that it's in pre-molt. And I don't want to stress it out before then. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys... Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye!